Hi, this is Craig with Lion Quest Fitness. And I love me some Glock 19. You know, a lot of people seem to have always assumed just because uh, I like uh, revolvers, and mostly I carry revolvers, that uh, I don't like these right here. But let me tell you, when I got my first one as a police officer some years ago, it's like, yeah, baby. But I'll talk about that at another time. Now what I'm wanting to talk about today has to do with a billionaire named Michael Bloomberg. Now Bloomberg has poured millions of dollars into local and state elections all across this country. I think uh, most of you are familiar with the fact that he bankrolls the anti-gun organizations, Moms Demand Action, and Every Town for Gun Safety. Now, if a grassroots group, you know, if they don't want firearms, if they don't like firearms, well, you know, they have a vote like everybody else, and, and they can petition our legislatures like everyone else. But I got a problem when somebody's using those billions of dollars not in their own local election, but they're supporting elections all across this country to try to get an agenda pushed. Now recently, Bloomberg was asked about the uh, shooting in Texas that was stopped by a church security detail. And his reply was that no one needed to be having guns in a church or any other crowded building and that citizens shouldn't own guns. You know, it doesn't matter that that church security detail saved a lot of lives or that they were very disciplined. And these were older men, older than me but they were very disciplined in their approach and how they handled this situation. In fact, uh, you know, and forgive me if this offends you, but you know, I was a police officer a lot of years and I often saw police officers act in a way that was nowhere near the disciplined response that these uh, gentlemen did at this church in this church security team. But according to Michael Bloomberg, only police officers need to have firearms and are trained to have firearms. Well, that's not necessarily the case. A lot of police officers don't spend time at the range practicing with their firearm. Some do. I was one who did. But you know, a lot more do not. And past uh, you know, their training at whatever police academy they go to, Often the only time that they'll practice with their firearm is when they qualify uh, once or maybe twice a year. But according to Michael Bloomberg, you know, this church security team that stopped this threat had no business doing that. Now I want to ask you something. I follow a channel called Black Conservative Patriot. And BCP is, uh, he was in the banking industry. And I, I watched a recent video of his where he talked about how billionaires and extremely wealthy people, how they shelter and hide their money. And his, uh, his take was why is Bloomberg spending all this money running for president when he really doesn't stand a chance and he said, what's happening, he's moving money. He's shuffling it around for purposes, who knows? But I also know that uh, another channel I follow, Guns and Gadgets, you know, he talked about how the chairman, premier, the ruler of China, he came out at an international meeting and was talking about how Americans needed to give up their right to their second amendment because it was, uh, you know, antiquated and it was dangerous and that we had no right to have private ownership of guns. You know, 
who knows what's lurking behind the scenes. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I also know that often wealthy people, uber wealthy people, have agendas. Now, Michael Bloomberg has every right to vote and support for whatever candidates are in his own area, whatever state or city he lives in, and he can donate money. But I don't think it's right that billionaires like him, like George Soros, like the Koch brothers, that they can uh, filter money to our politicians and to elections to try to get their candidates elected for their agenda in other parts of the country. So anyway, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. And once again, you gotta love a Glock 19.